Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today our topic is light by grade 7 Cambridge checkpoint science chapter number 15. Light chapter number 15. The first question name five luminous objects basically jo chamakte hain wo luminous theek hai na wo chamakne wale objects unke naam likhe to answer iska kya hoga the answer of this question the example could include sun stars fire lamp tv screen computer screen phone screen etc the b part name five non luminous objects around you wo wo objects jin jo chamakte nahi hai so the answer of this question will be anything from the things like uh, clothes furniture a furnishing to desk items and uh, food and drink etc the second question light ray why can you see the path of light in the sunbeam the answer of this question is uh, some of the light is uh, reflected from dust in the atmosphere okay if the light is uh, shown uh, through the uh, slit of uh, a chart into a sheet of white paper describe what is seen the answer of this question is uh, long straight line of light with straight edges okay The next question classifying non luminous objects. This is the table and attached by drawing arrows on your copy. So, the first one, so first column shows some materials, and the second one, appearance, and uh, third one, passage of light. Transparent uh, can see clearly through light light is not scattered as it passes through okay the second one is translucent uh, cannot see uh, clearly through light is uh, scattered as it passes through okay the third one opaque opaque cannot see through it and uh, light does not uh, pass through okay no shadows the question number five read all parts of all uh, question before you answer when does a shadow form when light shines on an opaque object okay otherwise no uh, shadow will come okay only opaque objects having some shadows okay the b part where does a shadow form the answer of this question is on the side away from the light source otherwise we can see the light the third one what is the what are the features of a shadow answer dark region without light part what affects the sh uh, shape of a shadow answer of this question the position of light source and uh, where the shadow falls now 
the next question I'm moving towards the next question mm, this is because basically this is the section of answer questions of chapter number 15 light okay six question Lily shines light from uh, a small light source on to uh, uh, onto an object placed in uh, front of uh, a screen okay the uh, uh, the uh, first part describe the shadow formed on the screen the answer of this question a sharp edged shadow equally dark in all areas okay the second one lily used uh, lily uses a large light source how does the shadow changes the answer of this question the shadow center is dark but the edges are lighter okay now the third part lily moves the light source nearer to the object the c part how does the shadow changes the answer of this question it gets larger reflecting light the question number seven label this diagram which shows the reflection of light from the uh, plane mirror okay this one is the plane mirror mirror and here some light fall on this mirror and just colliding on the surface of the mirror and just uh, reflected back okay this one is the perpendicular uh, to the screen a uh, glass a uh, mirror this one is the perpendicular so uh, in the light case all uh, light cases when we will discuss uh, the angle uh, should be taken from the perpendicular to the plane okay so this one is an angle and this one is an other angle so the uh, answer of this uh, diagram is this one is incident ray this one is incident ray angle of incidence this angle from here to here is angle of incidence <coughs> angle of incidence and this one is angle of uh, refract reflection okay and this one is the normal to the mirror and this ray is reflected ray so the eighth question a part where in life would you see the first part real image the answer a uh, cinema screen okay virtual image the answer of this question a uh, mirror or smooth shiny surface okay the b part name two things about you virtual image that is the same as you the answer of this question same way up same size same distance from mirror okay the c part name one thing that is different the answer of this question is wrong way round so question number nine why can you not see your reflection in a woolen pullover okay the answer of this question the light rays are scattered in all directions so no image will be uh, formed from this okay No. 
passing light through transparent materials the question number uh, 10 a part uh, label this diagram which shows the reflect refraction of the light into glass okay this one is the surface and uh, this one is the perpendicular on this surface and this one is the angle uh, incident ray this one is refracted ray this one is the angle of refraction and this one is angle of uh, incidence okay so just we can label that diagram in this manner this one is the normal to that surface normal means perpendicular perpendicular okay and this one is incident ray angle of incidence angle of refraction refracted ray so come to the B part what causes refraction to occur as light changes from one medium to another okay the answer of this question a uh, change in the speed of light so we are moving towards the next questions question number 11 basically in this figure again uh, uh, just label the diagram and we can label the diagram this is the water level here water level and this one is the refractory ray. Uh, the air here here the air and when light passes through air to the denser medium which is the water the uh, incident ray will uh, diffract towards the perpendicular or normal okay so this one is the normal this one is the normal so angle of incident this one and angle of refraction this one angle of refraction is decreasing uh, when the light pass through uh, lighter to denser medium and coin here and we will uh, observe this coin is at this place this is the virtual image okay so the next question color question number 12 following statement describe the path of white light as it passes through a glass prism and uh, strikes a screen they are in the wrong order arrange them correctly by writing the letter of each statement in the order in which it occurs okay so these are some uh, disordered things but uh, uh, a b c d e f is uh, very uh, systematically arranged so the other uh, uh, scenario scientific scenario in this pattern is not correct so the answer of this question the order of uh, uh, these things should be C at uh, first D at second A will uh, should be at uh, third one and F E and B okay this one is the ordered things B where do you need to stand in uh, relation to the Sun to see a rainbow when it rains okay the answer of this question with your back to the Sun it's number 13 when the Sun shines on a blue flower which color is absorbed by uh, its petals okay circle your answer red blue orange indigo yellow violet and green 
the answer of this question is the red orange yellow green indigo violet are those uh, colors which shine uh, which absorbed by the petals and just blue color will reflected back from the petals of that flower and we will uh, see the blue color of that flower okay and other colors all other colors will absorb in the petals okay though uh, so the next question four Sari looks at uh, a slide of uh, leaf cells under a microscope she sees the green chloroplasts but needs to make them easier to see she puts a red filter over the slide and looks again how does the view of the cells change the answer of this question the chloroplasts appear black okay by the combination of these two colors okay explain your answer the green color is filtered out so no light uh, comes from the chloroplast okay this one is the reason of uh, uh, that answer behind this question okay so the question number 15 Raul is working with filters on the school stage the left hand column of the table shows the light needed on stage fill in the right hand column to uh, to help him make the correct responses so uh, stage requirements white light blue light yellow light and uh, other lights okay the filters needed so the answer of that question is the white light the filters needed red blue and green filters okay blue light blue filters okay yellow light green and red filters cyan light blue and green filters okay so moving towards the next question uh, the question number 16 Claire is painting a picture but only has three paints yellow magenta and cyan the a part how can she get a red color answer of this question by mixing yellow and magenta okay how can she get a green color by mixing cyan and yellow we will get the green color okay how can she make black paint by mixing magenta yellow and cyan all three colors uh, by mixing all these three colors we will get the black paint okay what happens to the light that strikes the black paint the answer of this question all the light is absorbed okay so thank you so very much if you have any type of question you can ask in comment box okay Allah Hafiz